Hello and welcome to my channel. It's like 8 in the morning. I look like garbage. My plants look like garbage. But we're gonna do a fun craft today. <laughs> so what we're gonna do today is we're going to make some footprint art with my wrap bento. I think this is a fun craft to do. Um, you could do it just for fun or if you want like a memento for when your pet passes away or anything like that. I think this is a good craft for you. Just make some cute little footprint art of their cute little feet. We love that. So I think I've shown these before. I made footprint art with some of my boys. Um, I just like to do this like, you know, for when they pass on, I can have a little something to keep from them. This one, oh my god, a truck. This one is uh, Butterscotch's. I don't think Butterscotch was ever on my channel, but he was a real cutie. Uh, this one is Miso's. Miso has not passed away, but <laughs> he's always sick, so like with the mass in his chest, I thought it's a good idea to make some cute little footprint art as a memento. Um, you can't really see any um, super defined footprints in them. Oh, that won't work, hang on. So, I mean, you can see footprints a little bit. That one is pretty good, but they're not like super defined. We got a lot of cool draggy tail marks. Um, when rats are older or not feeling well, they start dragging their tails, and that's why Miso's has a big streak like that. Um, what we're going to be using is just this kids safe, non-toxic Crayola paint. I chose out those colors because I think they look nice. And we're going to be using some Bristol paper that I have left over from when I used to be an art major. So. Here he is, the man of the hour, my little boy. You can see his lump right here. He's got like a little mass, which is why we're gonna go to the vet a little bit later. He's not feeling too well. So, I don't know what the outcome of that will be, but I think it's a good idea for us to get some footprint art done while he's still doing pretty good. He's still acting pretty normal. He's just breathing a little hard. He's like a little bit tired, but there he is. He's doing okay. I'm just letting him relax a little bit before we get started so he can kind of wander around and get used to this environment because he's never been on my desk before. He doesn't usually come out here. What a good boy. Alright, so I think we're just about ready. Bento's calmed down a little bit. He's not feeling stressed on the table anymore. He's feeling pretty good. Hey, honey. I know he doesn't look too good. That's why we're going to the vet. But I already put the pink out, but I'm just putting out some of the paint on this piece of paper to use as like a little artist palette for him. Oh, oh that's a lot. So my plan is usually to have them walk around on this piece of paper and then get them to walk around on this piece of paper with their feet all painty. Oh gosh, that's a lot again, oh my god. I don't know why the yellow was so hard to get out and this just like poured out. That's okay. There we go. There, let's just kind of pre-smear his colors for him so that they're not too, too globby on his feet. Okay. 
I'll leave that right there for now. All right, and then we just got to get our little guy. Oh, by the way, I also have, I have wipes handy so that we'll be able to wipe him down afterwards a little bit. Here we go, Nev. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here we go. It's a good boy. He's a little tired. Oh, we're already messy. Okay. <laughs> All right, you do your thing for a second. Good boy. handy. Sorry, love. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here we go. There we go. We're gonna walk. Come on. Come here. Oh, oh not the hammock. There we go. There we go. I definitely don't love doing this with like a sick rat. I would prefer it if he was feeling okay right now. And he wanted to do this, but since I'm taking him to the vet later today, you know, I don't really know what's going to happen there. It's okay, honey. Here we go. Get some paint, and then we'll put you right here. That's good. Oh, we got some really good feet. Yeah, we do. That's a good boy. You're doing so well. Yes, you are. Come on, honey. Here's the paint. And then we'll go over here. That's right. That's right. Sorry. I'm sorry. You're doing really well. You're doing really well, honey. I'm sorry you don't feel well. Good boy. I don't want to pick you up like that. I'm trying not to get it too much on anywhere but his feet. Because <laughs> obviously I don't want there to be paint all over you. I, I'm sorry. I keep having to pick him up funny to uh, not get him all messy. I know, I know. Here, you want to come towards me? There, that works so much better. That works so much better. That's good. Okay, oh, oh honey, honey. There you go. Do you want to lie down? Do you want to lie down for a second? Here, let's do this. There. There we go. I'm gonna let him hide for a second so he can calm down a little bit again because I think he was getting a bit stressed out. But I actually think that this is good. I'm gonna stop here because I don't want to stress him out too much. I know that he doesn't like it very much. Well, you know what? I'm gonna wipe, I'm gonna wipe, wipe those. Let me wipe those for you. Here, okay. Here you go. I don't want him to <laughs> be licking it right off his paws. All right, so. Our little guy is hiding in here. I brought him a yogurt drop to eat. I don't think you can see that. <laughs> oh my God. There it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways. Hello, honey. Just flip this back for a second. Here. You want a yogurt drop? Yeah. Here. My alarm went off. It's nine in the morning. It's when I usually get up. <laughs> Aw. I think he did really well. He's a very good boy. I don't think he loved it too much. He's definitely tired. He kind of just wanted to sit. He didn't want to walk. So I feel bad for making him, but it's just a quick little thing before we go to the vet. You get a yogurt drop. You get to relax now. You're going to feel better later. You're a good boy. So, 
what we ended up with is this. I think that footprint is, oh, that's the best footprint I've ever gotten doing this. So thank you, Bento. I like his little tail streaks. I like the fun mixture of colors he used. Got some really good <laughs> blending. He did awesome. You hear that? You did awesome. You did really well. What a good boy. This is our paint palette. A little messy. I think I got too much paint on there. <laughs> But, you know. But I'm going to clean him up a little bit better once he is done with his yogurt drop. And then we are all done. And I will have to frame this like how I framed those. These are just Ikea frames. I thought the blue color was cute. Even though I don't really have any blue in my room, really. So it doesn't go with anything. But they're cute. They stand out. It's good. I'm going to have to do rice and beans soon, too. So, yeah. I love that. There's my boy. I'm just trying to... Sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to wipe some of that off. to my arm too. <laughs> Look at that. He's so sweet. Yeah. You did so well. You did so well. He's a good boy. There we go. He still has a little bit of paint on him, but I kind of think it like might stain a little bit because every time I've tried wiping it off him and my other rats, like not all of it quite comes off. Like I can get off like a pretty good amount of gloopy paint, but if there's any little like gloops on him, but you still see like a little bit of like the color on his little feetsies. And I finished way early. I don't have to be at the vet for another hour and a half. But I didn't know how long this would take. I've never paid attention before. Aw, thank you, honey. Thank you. I'm getting little rat kisses. What a sweet boy. Alright, well... I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to leave this right here to dry. And I'm going to go stick Bento to relax in his cage for um, a while before we have to go to the vet. And he can just hang out there until we have to go. Okay, say goodbye. Say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I tried. Say goodbye, honey. Goodbye. Bye. What a good boy. <gasps> there he is. What a good little rat. Um, if you do this with your rats, just remember if they seem like they're getting too stressed out, like give them a little break for a minute. Um, make sure to use like non-toxic washable paint like this Crayola Kids Kind. I googled it. It seems like it should be fine for rats, which is why I use it. Um, and make sure to try and only get it on their feet. Uh, like when you're putting them in the paint, don't just like plop them in there. Like try and gently place them so that they go feet first. It's a little iffy doing it with older rats. Sometimes older rats or sick rats will drag their bellies when they walk. So uh, make sure that your rat's not doing that. Make sure your rat's not dragging their belly around when they're walking. 
uh, because if they are, they'll do that on the canvas, they'll get paint all over their belly, and they'll... you won't really be able to see any footprints anyway. So... yeah, my arm is tired. Hey! So, it's been a couple days since me and Bento went to the vet, but I wanted to film this little update to be able to put in a video of me making his footprint art. Here he is. Here's my boy. Hello. So, one moment. So, it turns out that the lump that he's got on his chest is a mammary tum tumor. Here's Miso. And it's not what it's, uh, it's not affecting his breathing at all. The vet told me to watch out for if it gets bigger and it makes it hard for him to use his legs since it'll grow kind of into his armpit. So he's still on his antibiotics for his wheezies. Um, not seeing any improvement yet, but we're going to keep going for like another two weeks. So with the mammary tumor, like, I'm not gonna get it removed or anything. We're just gonna wait it out and try and keep him as happy as possible. Hopefully he's gonna get better on these antibiotics, but I've just gotta watch out. Um, and as long as it's not impacting him negatively, which it's not yet, he can still walk around and everything. It doesn't seem to bother him too much. But, once it starts impacting him negatively, I'll probably have to take him back to the vet. And he probably will need to get put down if this tumor gets too big. Because he won't be able to eat anymore by himself, he won't be able to use his arm very well. But, hopefully it won't get too much bigger. I haven't noticed it getting any bigger yet. It seemed to like pop up out of nowhere overnight. And be really... <laughs> my god <laughs> and be really big already um but since then i haven't noticed it growing anymore so we can hope for the best and hope that it doesn't get too bad for him and we can hope that his antibiotics start to help him feel a little better soon because he's looking a little rough right now he's not feeling too well oh but Miso, Miso's doing pretty good. He's got some weird stuff going on with his fur. It looked like he was losing a patch of fur, but it's growing back now. I wonder if Bento was barbering him a little bit. Barbering is when um, sometimes rats like over groom each other and it'll look like they're balding, <laughs> but maybe that's what was going on. But he's doing pretty good on his uh, antibiotics and his prednisone and all that, which is the same stuff that Bento is on, so. Oh. Keep an eye on these boys. How are you doing up there? He's just getting comfy. What a good boy. And Rice and Bean are up here too. There's Rice. in there and then bean is down here hello so I'm glad that I made his footprint art when I did his um, his mammary tumor isn't as like immediately life-threatening as I was worried about um, but it will if it grows it will eventually like impact him being able to walk and being able to eat and his general like comfort and all of that so I'm glad that I did his footprint art before all of that happened so that I have this little keepsake for him and I'm not gonna have to put him through that kind of stress later and as far as his breathing I'm just gonna have to hope that the antibiotics start working that's probably my main worry, is that his breathing doesn't sound very good. I could probably hear it right now. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear it, but <laughs> he doesn't sound great, so that's a little concerning, but it's not the first time that this has happened. <laughs> 
so and he antibiotics have always worked for him before so hopefully they'll work this time as well if not we're going back to the vet uh again and yeah but i hope you enjoyed this video i hope that if you want to try this with your pets that you can i think it's a fun little project to do as long as it's not stressing your pet out too much yeah thanks for watching bye